Here, I'm using WaveMason to model three transmission lines again into a terminating resistor. Uh, this time, from the previous video, I'm reversing the order of impedances. So I'm going from the higher impedance to the lower impedance. And I've also made the uh, second transmission line, the 70.7 ohm transmission line, a quarter wavelength at one gigahertz, uh, which has sort of an interesting property. So I'm gonna inject my Gaussian pulse, and you're gonna see that this time, um, as I'm going from the higher impedance to the lower impedance, uh, the amplitude is going to be the same in the reflection from before, but the sign is going to change. So we flipped over. Uh, we're a negative pulse now. Um, the other thing that's sort of interesting, uh, again, because it's a quarter wavelength, when we take a look at the return loss, uh, we end up at one gigahertz, where it's a quarter wavelength. That's where our null is. So there's... Um, uh, no return uh, coming uh, back to the source uh, at the uh, quarter wavelength. Um, now, again, I'm going to inject my DC signal uh, into here. And again, we're going to see uh, the um, ripple that you get off of the line uh, when you have mismatch. But this time, instead of the impedance being higher, um, going from the low to high impedance, from the high to low impedance, the voltage drops.